For almost 30 years now, Mariah Carey and her Yuletide classic, All I Want for Christmas, has been an institution of the festive season. And for her millions of fans around the world, Mariah is synonymous with Christmas. So in 2022, the legendary diva made the move to trademark the title Queen of Christmas for herself. But two singers, Darlene Love and Elizabeth Chan, opposed the move the latter going as far as to file a formal declaration of opposition to Mariah's claim. So, how did the drama unfold? What was the eventual outcome? Who is Elizabeth Chan? How did MC respond to it all? And is Mariah really the Queen of Christmas? So many questions, let's find out. Just to begin, let's have a quick summation of why millions of fans and Mimi herself believe she should have the right to trademark the phrase Queen of Christmas. You don't need me to tell you that the diva's contribution to the festive season is unparalleled. All I Want for Christmas has become an enduring classic since its release way back in 94. Since then, it has become one of the biggest selling physical singles ever. Its parent album, Merry Christmas, has sold over 15 million copies worldwide. Aided by the phenomenal growth of streaming platforms over the last decade, it reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in America in 2019, 25 years after it was first released. And it topped the Billboard charts again the following year and in 2021. And over in the UK, it topped the charts for the first time in 2020. As of 2022, the song has reached 1.2 billion streams on Spotify. Even Mariah detractors and hard-nosed critics seem to agree that All I Want For Christmas is a brilliant song. So in 2022, Mariah's company Lotion LLC filed paperwork to register the phrase The Queen of Christmas as a trademark in the States. Mariah applied for four trademarks including Queen of Christmas, QOC, Princess of Christmas and Christmas Princess and planned on using the phrase as branding across multiple products including clothes, makeup and dog accessories. If Mariah had succeeded in her attempt to do so, Mimi would have been granted full ownership and the right to sue anyone else using it. Christmas Mariah has turned into a highly lucrative business over the years. Christmas themed concerts and Apple TV specials, lucrative sponsorship deals with Walker's Crisps in the UK and McDonald's, and not to mention all the royalties All I Want for Christmas must rake in each year. And Mimi isn't cleaning up from album sales like she once did, so evidently she started looking at other revenue streams. The girl has to pay her rent. But perhaps Mariah didn't foresee the opposition she would meet in American singers Elizabeth Chan and Darlene Love, the latter whose music has been a familiar part of the American Christmas soundtrack for decades. Love originally found fame singing multiple tracks on Phil Spector's classic Christmas album from 1963, and she too has a claim to the title. In 93, chat show king David Letterman declared Darlene the Queen of Christmas. Love had sang Please Come Home for Christmas on his show every year from 1986 until 2014, when the show came to an end, and she sang the theme tune for Home Alone 2, All Alone on Christmas. In a statement to ABC America, Darlene expressed her disapproval of Mariah's bid. I adore Mariah Carey as an artist and a songwriter, but to register the term Queen of Christmas as a trademark for her sole usage doesn't reflect on the holiday spirit of love and gratitude. Queen of Christmas should not be exclusive to anyone except for Mary, mother of Jesus. But it was Elizabeth Chan who was so upset by Mariah's attempts to trademark the title that she had her lawyers find a formal declaration of opposition to Mariah's claim. But who exactly is Elizabeth Chan? According to a 2018 New Yorker profile of the singer entitled The Queen of Christmas, Elizabeth Chan worked as a top executive at the Condé Nast publishing company until 2012, when she quit her good job to become a full-time Yuletide singer-songwriter. And yes, you heard that correctly, Miss Chan works exclusively as a Christmas music artist, meaning she only ever releases Xmas music. She was so determined to reach her goal, she wrote a Christmas song every day for two years and self-financed her first record. She even called her daughter Noelle, which, as I'm sure you already know, is French for Christmas. 
Elizabeth is highly prolific. She has put out an original Christmas record every year for the past decade and her 2021 album was even called, yes you guessed it, Queen of Christmas. Okay Elizabeth, I think you've made it clear that you really like the festive season. But back to the contest for the trademark. Variety magazine in August 2022 reported that Chan's lawyers took on the case for free. Other trademark lawyers refused to represent her unless she had the deep financial reserves required to go up against a gazillionaire like Mariah. Elizabeth had this to say about the trademark battle to Variety magazine. Christmas has come way before any of us on earth and hopefully will be around way after any of us on earth. And I feel very strongly that no one person should hold on to anything around Christmas or monopolize it in the way that Mariah seeks to in perpetuity. That's just not the right thing to do. Christmas is for everyone. It's meant to be shared. It's not meant to be owned. And it's not just about the music business. She's trying to trademark this in every imaginable way. Clothing, liqueur products, masks, dog collars, it's all over the map. If you knit a Queen of Christmas sweater, you should be able to sell it on Etsy to somebody else so they can buy it for their grandma. It's crazy. It would have that breadth of registration. And when Mariah spoke to the Zoe Ball breakfast show on BBC Radio 2 in 2021, she seemed to feel quite differently about this whole business. I just want to humbly say that I don't consider myself that. I'm someone that loves Christmas, that happened to be blessed to write All I Want for Christmas Is You. And let's face it, everyone's faith is what it is. But to me, Mary is the Queen of Christmas. Kind of killing your argument there, Mariah. Even country legend Dolly Parton weighed in on the situation. When asked by American magazine Better Homes and Gardens if she herself was the Queen of Christmas, Dolly had this to say. I'm not going to compete with Mariah, I love her. You think of Christmas, you think of Mariah. I'm happy to be second in line to her. But in the end, the US Patent and Trademark Office didn't accept Mariah's application. Elizabeth Chan scored a legal victory of sorts, but only because Carey's team didn't even bother to file a response to Chan's objection, which is quintessential Mariah behavior. She didn't even acknowledge its existence. While some may say that it isn't in keeping with the Christmas spirit for Mariah to trademark the phrase, I would argue that Mariah's attempt to trademark the title in many ways is in keeping with the Christmas spirit. It's wholly consistent with the orgy of consumerism the festive season has become. Come. The defense that the Christmas spirit is just about love and gratitude is kind of disconnected from the actual reality, in my humble opinion. I know I might be somewhat biased as a huge Mariah fan, but Mimi doesn't need the trademark anyway. Everyone already knows that Mariah Carey is the Queen of Christmas, just unofficially. Whilst I'm sure Elizabeth Chan had noble intentions in contesting Mariah's filing, the fact remains that Mimi's services to the festive season is incomparable and perhaps nobody deserves sole ownership of the title. But if it belongs to anyone, it's Mariah. The defense that the Christmas spirit is just about love and gratitude is kind of it's wholly consistent with the orgy of consumerism, the Christmas festive of oh, Christmas. Oh. Everyone already knows that Mariah is the queen of Christmas. Christmas? It's wholly consistent with the orgy of consumerism the festive season has become. <sighs> Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts on anything in this video, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos.